Okay, so this video is about how to use an electronic balance. This is an electronic balance. Um, first of all, you have to turn it on. Cool. That'll take a moment to boot up, as they do. Don't know what all that stuff means. There we go. Now, uh, just in case you end up with... Um, I'm just going to show you. Sometimes it's not actually um, reading zero when it should read zero. When there's nothing on there, it might have a negative or even a positive... Um, Zero, what we call a zero reading, so it's clearly there's nothing on it, but it's not reading zero on the scale. So what we'll do is we'll press the zero. Um, this is the on-off button. It's also the re-zero button. I think it just turns itself off by, by itself eventually. And so it re-zeroes, it goes to zero. This solves any problem of uh, non-zero, zero reading. And then you just put whatever you're reading onto it. And wait till it stops moving. There you go. It's 13.30 grams. 13.31 grams. Okay, definitely stop moving. If that last digit was still flickering, like going up and down a little bit, I'd just go back here and write the measurement as 13.3 um, to uh, three significant figures rather than to four. But it seems pretty stable on 13.30, 13.31. Um, I'd be okay with that. Now I'll just take it off again and just double check that it's reading zero when it should be zero. Okay, so that. I might have actually bumped it when I dropped that on. Okay, so that could actually cause a, an effect, uh, the, re, the, the zero reading. So I'd re zero it and just double check. So it probably is 13.31. 13.30. There we go, yep, so 13.30, that's fine. Um, some other strategies you can use for uh, this. If you had, say, uh, five of these pens, you could weigh all five at once. Put all five on there, and then um, whatever the reading you got on here, divide it by five, and it gives you an average result for uh, individual pen. Um, the advantage to that is each pen by itself is might not be exactly um, that 13.3 um, uh, grams, so uh, you're, you're averaging out all the inconsistencies. One of them might have added grease from being used by fingers all the time. Some of them might have lost little bits um, due to uh, notches in the, uh, from hard wearing. So they, they are going to be slightly different each. And you want to have the average most accurate uh, reading um, for them. Okay, you can see once again it's gone back to here, which is a little bit annoying. To, to be honest, I'd probably just go 13.3 for that final reading, um, since it keeps doing this. And just say that I'm only confident up to three significant figures.